special donation to the St. Thomas Health Foundation. The Surprise Squad's biggest surprises, powered by Wholesale Inc. Auto Group. We're here at the beautiful Gaylord Opryland Resort celebrating their country Christmas. They're going to be here through January 1st. It's the season of giving, so what better way to celebrate than to honor those whose generosity has inspired us? We are taking you on a journey through the Surprise Squad's biggest surprises. You are going to meet some extraordinary people who survived some really tough times, and they've done so with grace and dignity. And along the way, they've been a shining light in their community. Our first story takes us to a small church in Middle Tennessee where we honor a woman who embodies the spirit of giving. And an international gospel artist who helps us pull off this special surprise. Franklin, Tennessee, a community filled with kind people raising their families, serving their church, and quietly going about their daily lives. Charlotte Holt is an unspoken hero who has touched many people's lives in that community. A single mom, she raised her son Carell while working full-time, often two to three jobs to provide for her child. She was just as dedicated in serving her church. With the help of her pastor and her son, Charlotte was about to get the surprise of her life in church, no less. Now, uh, this is not going to be a traditional Bible study night. Tonight. I'm with the News 4 Surprise Squad, and tonight we are here to honor one very special member of the West Harpeth Primitive Baptist Church. Many times worked two and three jobs to provide for her family. This precious woman has always given back and tonight we want to honor her. She is so loved and respected by all of you. So at this time we want to recognize Miss Charlotte Holt. <laughs> Now, the News 4 Surprise Squad and Wholesale Inc. Auto Group have some surprises for you. We have some gifts. My knees were shaking. <laughs> <laughs> right? oh, A I gift card you. to Red Lobster. Thank you. A $500 shopping oh, spree. Oh. And a night's stay with dinner at the Renaissance Hotel. Oh, my God. Stop shaking. <laughs> we know, Charlotte that you are a huge gospel music fan. She is the most popular gospel artist in the music industry today. She has won 10 Grammy Awards. She has won 20 Dove Awards. She is with us in this church tonight to honor you, oh, Miss Charlotte. <laughs> are you ready? Are you, are you ready. bracing yourself? Are you ready? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome C.C. Winans. Oh, mind singing a song for us? Would you Not do at all. Let's do it. We'll do it. And though she spoke no words, everything she said was heard. As she poured her love for the master from her box of alabaster. So we want to thank them for the work that they have done to try to get this pulled off. And Charlotte, we love you, girl. I feel the love tonight. I do. I feel the love tonight. One night, one moment, a Bible study Charlotte Holt will never forget. If I wash his feet with that was awesome. What a surprise. What a thrill. Now, that was the first time that we live streamed the entire thing on Facebook. And let me tell you, the crowd, the congregation, they went nuts. When Cece Winan opened those doors and she walked down and got up on the stage, it was a thrill of a lifetime for Miss Charlotte. And that is really what it's all about. All right, so we go from the church to the courthouse where we meet a mother named Christy Mixon. Now, this is a woman who's been through a lot. First, it was breast cancer. Then it was melanoma, and now it's brain cancer. Now, her family and friends held this big fundraiser to help pay for her medical expenses. Christie's friends use words like brave, independent spirit, and strong one. But since 2012, she's had to muster all the strength she could to battle the radiation and chemo treatments that drained her energy and left her weak. It's one more battle that we're going to knock down. 
You know, we, she's bait too. We're gonna knock this one down too. I'm just outside the Montgomery County Court Complex where inside they're holding a silent auction right now. This is a fundraiser to help pay for Christy's medical bills. All right, so here we go. She has no idea we're coming, but I'm going to personally deliver a big basket full of News 4 goodies, and then I'll reveal the real surprise. I am part of the surprise squad. And we are honored to be a part of this. We want you to know that your friends and co-workers nominated you. And I want to read this letter that they wrote about you. The cancer took many things from Christy. It took her hair and physical strength as she underwent treatments. It took the ability to have more children. It took some of her freedom. It's hard to plan family vacations when you have constant medical appointments. It took a lot of her savings, and some days it took her joy, but it never took her spirit. She is my hero and an inspiration to everyone who knows her. So, on behalf of News 4 and Wholesale Inc. Auto Group, we want to send your whole family to Disney World! Six nights, seven days to Disney World, the happiest place on earth. God and my babies and my husband and my family, without them I can't do anything. And I smile because I don't want my kids to see me be upset because you can do anything if you have God and family. We are so thankful as Wholesale Inc. We are a car dealership in Madison, Tennessee, and we're just grateful to be able to partner with News Channel 4 and be able to bless families like yours that are so deserving of things like this quality time. And so we're just so thankful to be able to do that. Way to go, Surprise Squad! Woo! <laughs> Thank you all very much. We have an update on Christy. She and her family got to go on that Disney vacation in October. Now she asked us to thank everyone for their prayers and their support as she continues in her fight against cancer. We'll certainly be praying for her for sure. Up next, who can forget this moment? Oh, What's happened to Mama Robbie since she got the car? All right, now we're going to meet a woman who's a legend of sorts at MTSU. Her name is Robbie Snap. She works in the financial aid office, but her first love is the students, the school, and the community. Mama Robbie works closely with students to help them get their financial aid and scholarships, so it wasn't unusual that she was asked to announce the names of the USA Conference of Honor Roll students at a small ceremony. The Bobcat players were on hand to kick off the event with a song. And just as Mama Robbie stepped up to make her announcement, Mama Robbie, Mama Robbie, I hate to interrupt you, but I have to let you know something. I'm Holly Thompson with the Channel 4 Surprise Squad. <laughs> and we are honoring you for all that you do and all that you give back to this community. You give back to your coworkers, you give back to your church, you give back to the students here, and you give back to Habitat for Humanity, and we want to honor you today. This is about you, sister. <laughs> and I had my nice little speech. <laughs> you are going to follow me, and we're going to go outside, sister. We've got some very special students. Come on out, guys. Let's show them our messages. Come on out. We're going to come around here. Let's raise our sign so we can see what you mean to all these people. Whether you are praying for oh these God. students, for these different individuals you have at your church, oh you have been inspiring to so many of these students mm. and what you mean to them. Whether you're giving your own money, donating your money and time, whether you're helping them build homes through Habitat for Humanity and sitting on the board and giving them advice, oh whether God. you are cooking meals for them, sacrificing your time and your money to help Ooh. give back, and whether you are mentoring to them, whether it's financial aid advice, whether it's building their home, <laughs> you are always there for them. I want you to know we have one more surprise. All right, count of three. One, two, three. Move that truck! Oh my! Oh. This is for you. 
Oh my god, I needed a car so bad. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh my god. There's a sense of joy, I feel like, just comes off of you by that smile. And the fact that everybody showed up for you to support you. You support so many that sometimes you might not feel like you're supported as well. And so this just proves all your support that you give out, it's definitely given back to you in this situation. This is home. It's our town. It's our song. This is home. This is where we belong. Whoa. An incredibly giving woman. Yeah. She's like the mom away from home for these students. And this really wouldn't be possible without the folks from Wholesale Inc. Auto Group. A big thank you to them for helping us bless so many Middle Tennessee families. We also want to thank the high school singers in that video. They're from John Overton High School. They're yes. called the Bobcat Players. They were singing This Is Home, which has really become the theme song for News 4. Mm -hmm. Hey, something else from home? This candied pretzel made by an extraordinary woman named Teresa. And when you see this story, you're gonna see why she's so special. When Teresa Daniels was a little girl, the doctor said she would never be able to read. She has Asperger's syndrome, a part of the autism spectrum. But now, she reads a book a day. In fact, she's even written a book. It's called The Adventures of Dad and T, an inspirational look at her observations of life. She attributes her parents' encouragement and guidance to getting her to this point. But the journey was not easy. I'm not going to lie, I've had a lot of days where, as my dad told you, I have almost wanted to kill myself. It's yeah, this is not a, it's not like, I don't, if I didn't have to deal with this, life would be so much easier. It's, it's just not, it's not easy. A lot of people don't understand it. It's, it's very lonely. But they make me feel like I can take on anything. An outing to the mall was an aha moment for Teresa. We were at a mall, uh, of all places, and Teresa and I were eating a, a, a soft pretzel and uh, one of those moments came through the air where she just said, pretzels, Teresa's twists, pretzels with a purpose. They looked at hundreds of pretzel recipes, tweaking the ingredients until they came up with just the right taste. Teresa's Twists, Pretzels with a Purpose, was born. While Teresa inspires her family and others, she has a special inspiration that's been a part of her life, country music artist Carrie Underwood. So the Surprise Squad presented her with some of the artist's memorabilia. We also heard that you are trying to get in shape, trying yes, to do a little yes, bit, yes. you know, more healthy this yeah. year. What can you do? Do. Well, yeah. guess what? We have something for you. It's a one on one training session with Carrie Underwood's personal trainer. Oh! That's not all. You are also wanting to give back to the community and start the careers of others who may have some sort of mental challenge or face some sort of disability in their life, right? Yes. Well, yes. guess what? We have something just for you, and we want to present you with this. $4,000 check. <laughs> this is on behalf of Channel 4 and Wholesale Inc. Auto Group. What do you think? I think, oh my God, this is crazy. Thank you so much to you, Holly, and the Surprise Squad, and what a tremendous blessing. We're just so, so, so glad. And Teresa's well worth it. She's a, she's a, a walking miracle. A walking miracle. Now, since this story aired, Teresa's Twist food truck has quadrupled in business. You can see that big purple truck all over town at events, at weddings, at graduations. Wow. Teresa's getting closer to her dream, too, of giving jobs to physically and mentally challenged young adults. Hey, when we come back, it's Susan's bucket list. How we helped her achieve some of the things she's always wanted to do. Welcome back to the Surprise Squad's Biggest Surprises. Now, Miss Cleo is a godly woman whose faith has gotten her through some extremely difficult times. Her prayers were answered when the Surprise Squad knocked on her door. 
Miss Cleo, as she's called by family and friends, has been tested in life, but through it all, her dedication to her family and her faith in God are getting her through the tough times. You want to push you? Here, get in. I'll push you. Her friend, Jennifer Glenn, knows what she's gone through. She just can't catch a break. She's such an amazing woman. Um, she's had periods of her life where she was abused. Um, she was able to break free of that. She's raised three wonderful girls on her own. Now is very involved in her grandchildren's life. She had her car break down on her in January. She's had some health issues of her own. Through it all, she stayed um, steadfast in her faith. It's amazing grace. Miss Cleo turned her closet in her small home into a prayer closet. They they live in a home where space is valuable. To be so strong in your faith that you would dedicate an entire room to having prayer and just quiet time just really speaks to her character and what an incredible woman she is. It hurt me seeing my kids go through what they were going through. And I went in that closet and started praying and started talking to God and putting notes on the wall to God. This is what I want you to do for me. I want you to help my daughter and I want you to help my grandkids because I can't do nothing right now. She is a woman that although they don't have much for themselves, they're constantly looking at ways to give back. I've never had nice things, but I appreciate things that, you know, people throw away. I appreciate that. And I get it, and I fix it up, and I, it looks like brand new stuff. Miss Cleo takes her grandchildren to the homeless shelter so they can see there are others who are in even more need. I see a person that need help, then if they need like a stroller, I go get a stroller. Or I, if they need food or something, I take them some food. You know, if I can, if I can get it, I'll take it to them. You know, I think her biggest need right now is transportation. Her car died on her back in January. Um, certainly food and basic necessities, diapers for the baby, toys, things like that. Um, you know, she certainly does the best she can and um, loves those boys more than anyone could. to give you these balloons and these flowers to let you know how much the community here in Nashville loves and appreciates you because you're such a wonderful person. You're so welcome. I gotta give you a hug. Well, Miss Cleo, we think you deserve a break today. The Channel 4 Surprise Squad has teamed up with Wholesale Inc. Auto Group and guess what? We have a huge surprise for you today, and we want you oh. to check it out. Oh, my teeth gonna fall out. Oh. Are you surprised? Yes, I am. Oh my God, nobody's done that big thing for me. Oh God. Well, guess what? We have another surprise for you oh. too. We have something right here, and we want you to know that Channel 4 oh is going to pay for, whoops, is going to pay for your car insurance for one year. Oh! <laughs> and guess what? There's more. Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> we have groceries. They packed the car full of groceries just for you and your family. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Nobody's ever did anything like this for me. Oh! oh Miss so Cleo, much. it's my honor. I hear the things that you do for other people, and it's a blessing to me to do this. Give you this wonderful day. It, it's it's oh, awesome. I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm the happiest person here. I guarantee you. <laughs> Thank you so much for pulling off this great surprise for such an amazing, oh, deserving God. woman. We love you, Miss Cleo, and are so excited for you. Oh my God! <laughs> Prayers have been answered. <laughs> Miss Cleo is putting some miles on that car, of course going to church and getting to visit with her two new grandbabies. Now, one of the most emotional Surprise Squad stories was about a woman who only had months to live. Susan Steves made the most out of the time she had left. Susan decided to live life to the fullest. She made a bucket list of all the things she ever wanted to do. That bucket list went viral on social media. Complete strangers answered the call to give her the best memories of her life. This is Susan's bucket list. I went skydiving, I went 
Congratulations, Susan Steve. This is your beach vacation on behalf of <laughs> News Force Surprise Squad and Wholesale Auto Inc. Look what we have for you. We are going to send you to the beach for an entire week. I love it. Oh my God. Are you so excited? Just want you to know how I've much been, we love you. I've been wanting to put and my toes in the sand and look at the water. The Florida vacation would allow all seven of the family members to spend a week together at the beach. Precious time that's running out. All of us. Yeah. yeah. All of us. All of us. All of us. All of us. Really? The whole family. Everybody. Yeah. Really? We're sending you all down there for it's a whole all week. About family. All, it's all about family. All of us. Bring your family. So all seven of us. Cool. Susan Steves was living with her family when she passed just one week after we gave her the bucket list surprise. Sadly, Susan never made it to the beach, but her daughter Stacy said they could feel their mom's spirit there with them. And she was most grateful that her mother was baptized before she died. Mm -hmm. Now we want to reintroduce you to a very special woman who dedicated her life to comforting the sick. She's not a doctor. She's not a nurse. She's Miss Effie at St. Thomas Midtown. This is Effie Welch, but everyone here knows her as Miss Effie. She is often the first face patients see when they come for a procedure at the cath lab. She does more than transport patients. Her kindness goes beyond what many would have the courage to do. Sit with the dying. She volunteers for a program called No One Dies Alone. Sit with patients if they have no family members in town or no family members, period. In the early hours of the morning, Miss Effie can be found by a patient's bedside holding their hand, singing to them, or reading the Bible. No one dies alone. We understand you spend a lot of time at the bedsides of patients, comforting them at a very difficult time in their lives. But we also want you to be comfortable as well. So, without further ado, we want to show you something. There you go. Oh, how's that feel? Good. Yeah. <laughs> try to make them happy. I try to make people um, forget what they're going through. Because some of the people well, I even, I'm around, they, they don't make it. Miss Effie bringing peace to the dying. The plaque on the back of the chair is engraved with her favorite Bible verse. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Now, Miss Effie retired this year, but says she's going to continue to provide comfort to patients in their final days. Oh, I'm still so loved by the community. Hey, when we come back, more of the Surprise Squad's biggest surprises right after this. No parent ever expects their baby could have a life-threatening illness, but unfortunately it happens more than most people realize. A young single mother is fighting for her daughter and other Tennessee families. This is Zoe's story. Zoe has lived a lifetime in the hospital. Born without an esophagus, she had to be fed through her veins until doctors could get her esophagus reconnected to her stomach. In all, she's withstood 22 months of hospital stays, 13 surgeries, and survived five strokes. Zoe has been through it all. There were times when people, you know, kind of wanted to give up on Zoe and mom didn't accept no for an answer. It was predicted Zoe would not live past the age of three. Now she's four and a half. I have heard many a doctor say that, to that Zoe is still alive because of her mother um, and her efforts. She is the real life Wonder Woman. Tori Goddard has managed to build a legacy to her daughter by helping other parents with children who have heart defects. She wants to raise awareness and funding by lobbying Congress. Her charitable organization, the Pediatric Congenital Heart Association, serves as a support group for Tennessee families. Talk about uh, epitome of parent advocates. Her mom yes. is, for, for Zoe, a fighter, and for all their kids with congenital heart disease, a really big fighter. We told Tori Channel 4 wanted to do a feature story about her charitable work, but it was an excuse to get her to the Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt, where friends, family, doctors, and nurses all stood by for the big surprise. We are going to stop our interview right now. <laughs> Thank you.
Tori, I know you recognize you've got some sweet friends here with you today. I want you to know that the Surprise Squad has decided to honor you for all that you have done. We know what an incredible mom that you have been to sweet little Zoe right here. We know how selfless that you've been and as a single mom, the difficulties that you've faced. And we know you have this huge support group who are all wanting to love you and give back. And we want to honor you today. Thank you guys. We know that your boss is sending you and Zoe to the beach. Yes, yes. So first, we have some awesome gifts right here. We have beach bags for both of you that are filled with all kinds of goodies. And then we have a day at the spa that you are gonna get to go and just pamper yourself. Mommy likes that. <laughs> but above all else, we know how much you want to give back to others. And with this organization and this local support group that you've started here, you're trying to give back to so many other parents. So on behalf of Channel 4, and wow. look at this. And on behalf of Wholesale Inc. Auto Group, we want to give you this check. Wow, thank you guys. For $4,000. Thank you. Anything you want to say to these folks? Thank you guys. Zoe started kindergarten this year, and Tori says they believe in 2019 they'll be able to remove Zoe's trach. So excited for this family. And you know, now Tori is working with the Tennessee Disability Coalition. She's working to get insurance coverage for children with special needs. In just a couple minutes, revisiting the story of a young couple who lost their only child. Now, their dream to have a big family has been answered. And later, lessons learned from a group of grade school children teaching the gift of generosity. We want to catch you up on a couple more stories. Josh and Katie Butler wanted a family more than anything in the world. Their infant son, Dewey, suffered from a genetic disorder and passed away. Not long after, they were asked to foster a little boy abandoned by his own family at the hospital. Braxtell was also medically fragile and was on a ventilator but soon flourished because of Josh and Katie's dedication and strong faith. Meanwhile, they opened their hearts and fostered three more children. We're happy to let you know that the children were adopted last May. Now Josh and Katie finally have the big family they always wanted. And we told you about the big fluffy dog rescue right here in Nashville and how they rescue and rehabilitate abused and neglected dogs all across the country. We introduced you to the woman behind the organization that literally saves thousands of dogs' lives. The biggest thing um, that we hope this will help you, because you guys do so much incredible work for these precious animals. We have 300 pounds of dog food to give you all. <laughs> Since the story aired, the rescue team was called to save shelter animals in the path of Hurricane Florence on Pauly's Island. When we come back, praise and prayers. A young man's journey to spread the gospel. You're watching the Surprise Squad's Biggest Surprises. The little pantry that could, a small food pantry that provides so much more than just nourishment, but kindness, human connection, and encouragement. Wonderful people behind this. They saw a need after the flooding in Tennessee of 2010, where the low income and the homeless were hit the hardest. Crowded in this 600 square foot basement are shelves with donated canned and packaged food and the 20 plus volunteers who accompany the shoppers as they fill their bags. This place is not about putting food in a bag, not at all. It's about the connections that we can make with folks today. We get so much out of this just to be able to have these, these different relationships that we build and the community that we build. Stacy Downey has committed her life to helping others in more ways than can be counted. She makes sure that we have food in our houses. When I first came here, I was kind of shy and I didn't really want to make it seem like I'm getting food from a pantry, but she made me feel welcome. She made me feel like I can keep coming back and not be judged about it. Somebody may need some packing items. This lady is like a book out the Bible. It was um, one couple that came in, they had been hitchhiking. And this woman's feet were blistered and everything, they were soaking wet. She took that lady's feet and she cleaned those, cleaned her feet, put medicine on them, gave her socks and new shoes, even fed the little dog. I mean, <laughs> Miss Stacy is amazing. There's not many challenges she won't turn down, you know. Um, she 
goes out in the middle of the night and will pick somebody up, you know. She'll go out in the middle of the night and run somebody to the emergency room. To spring the surprise on Stacy, Chris and I volunteered to help stock shelves. Nine to 13,000 pounds of food are brought in every Friday and it's completely gone by Saturday. In just a short period of time, we felt the sense of community at the little pantry that could and why the name of the food pantry was so perfect. And we want you to know how much you are appreciated and how much you are loved and how much the people here care about you and so on behalf of Channel 4 and the Channel 4 Surprise Squad we want to present you with a check oh my gosh for $4,000 and we want you to come with us let's step outside I'm a little weak in the knees right now oh my god surprise <laughs> so much oh my gosh you have no idea Let's go check it out. That's okay. yours. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone that you really, really deserve. Oh. And we're gl glad and honored to be here today and to uh, give you this van for the way that you support and take care of the community. I think that's unbelievable. Not long after our story aired, the little pantry moved into a new building more than double the size of the old one. Yeah, Stacy's dream of helping more people is definitely happening. They've got laundry facilities there, they have showers, and now they're open 24-7 to provide warmth for people to get out of the cold. Tonight, you'll meet a Madison woman who took her 10 children and escaped in search of a better life. She's now an inspiration to other women on how to break free from violent relationships. Looking at the smiling faces of Sharon Brown and her 10 children, most would never know the violence this family has survived. Children and I were rescued by the Metro Nashville Police Department after a violent incident in our home. There had been a violence occurring over the years and it was a very toxic situation. Ten years ago, Sharon, with her small children in tow, escaped to a shelter with nothing but the determination to make a better life for her family. She moved forward from the time she got out. It was a God thing, uh, the way she got into shelter, the way she got custody of her children, her housing and everything. It took years, it wasn't easy, but she never looked back. I don't think I've ever met anyone who's as much as a survivor as she is and who has gone through as much as she has. It's very difficult, but again, we have so much family support, people who are part of our lives that have sacrificed to be there for us and to give in so many ways and to help my kids. Even though they had few material things and very little money, they had faith in God and a tight bond to keep the family together through the toughest times. We're here today to honor you and your beautiful family. We are the News 4 Surprise Squad. Being a single mom of 10 children is hard for us to grasp, and we know that money has been so tight for you. So we want, we've heard from Melna that you are a thrifty shopper. I am a thrifty shopper. And we want to present you with something. We have an awesome oh. upright freezer just Thank for you. you. So Can oh you use gosh. this? Absolutely. <laughs> it's deer season, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> There's more. And we know uh, some of your boys are going to especially appreciate this. We know there's a lot of work to be done, not only inside the house, but outside. How about... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, I get to ride that. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awesome. Sharon says she's most proud of her children and all they've accomplished in their young lives despite the dark times. They work hard in school, volunteer in the community, and the four oldest all have scholarships. Ray, the oldest, is a junior at the Citadel. Twins Chike and Adeo are sophomores at MTSU. Adana is a freshman at Vanderbilt. And chances are the six at home will be college bound too. Some say Jeremiah Walker was a musical prodigy at an early age. Now he uses his talents to inspire, motivate, and spread the gospel. One day, while leading a praise and worship service, his life was changed by a stranger. Friends describe Jeremiah Walker as having the joy of music inside him. At age six, he learned to play the violin, then the guitar, the piano, and drums soon followed. God-given gifts he used while leading praise and worship services throughout his early teens. His message at the pulpit grabbed the attention of Trevecca Nazarene Praise and Worship Director Mark Hosney. 
It's within his heart. It's within his blood. He, I mean, everything that he did on stage really was authentic, um, and he just had it. All these people, MPWI, they've accepted me as a family, and, and Haas is really the only reason why I'm even here. And uh, he's the one that fought really hard to put me in this program and get me in this school. He did. The surprise squad paid a visit to his choir class. Jeremiah and his fellow classmates didn't have a clue what was coming next. We are the News for Surprise Squad, and we are actually here today to surprise one of you folks right here. There is one among you that we want to surprise. Are you ready? Could be any of you right now today. We are surprising Jeremiah Walker. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the Pride Squad helps make people's dreams come true. That's what we're all about. And today, we're going to help make a dream come true for you. I'm just so grateful when you're navigating the ebbs and flows of life and you're going through hard times and you're like, God, do you see me here? I feel like I'm, I'm drowning here. Like the, 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 the waves are going and the sea is swelling and the winds are hurling and God's like, I got you. I got you. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> and I know how proud you are of your son. I'm so proud. Oh, and he has always been there for you through your chronic illness and you being a single mom. It yes. hasn't been easy. He never ever once complained. He just loves serving and giving back to people. And I'm just so thankful to Channel 4, to the Surprise Squad, for doing this for my son. Surprise Squad wanted to help further Jeremiah's musical career, so we got him a MacBook Pro. I mean, I've written a lot of songs, but I haven't really had stuff to really put it on or record with, so this can really get my you know positive music out there so I really appreciate that. I see him being a, a worship leader, worship pastor, leading people in worship um, even as a vocation full-time just in ministry. She's All right, are you ready <laughs> for your next even bigger surprise? Oh uh, yeah. And trying to get around. <laughs> the community who have supported us since we moved to Nashville. I'm so grateful for this young man who has just done so much. I'm so thankful that you were here. It's Channel 4 and the Surprise Squad, Wholesale Auto Group. Thank you all so very much. This is a blessing. And this is going to make every day-to-day -day life much easier all the way around. And that's something you deserve. You deserve to have just a little ease. So that's the way I feel. And I'm so glad that I could be a part of this with you guys. I'm at a loss of words. Like, I, I don't know what to say. Like, God is good. And I'm so thankful. When we come back, how a local elementary school is teaching the gift of giving. And finally tonight, a story of hope and generosity. We feature a neighborhood school that serves many families who are living below the poverty line. But they're rich in teaching the gift of giving. Great things are happening behind these doors at the Tom Joy Elementary School. The second grade class is learning more than just the three R's. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. This is the Christmas Roar Store, where the kids earn Roar Bucks for good behavior. They use those Roar Bucks to purchase gifts for their parents and siblings. I earned them by being good and listening because I get to shop for my family and, get, and give it to them and um, I want them to be proud of me. So my dream for each child is to learn as much as they can throughout their life and be good productive citizens. The Surprise Squad thought these good student citizens deserved a little something special, so we went shopping. Take a good look around. Yeah! Okay, so you thought we were going to read to you today, but guess what? We have something even better. We are the News for Surprise Squad, and do you know, woo! Do you know what we do? We give gifts, and guess who we are giving presents to today? All of 
of you! We're going to be giving away these books about penguins, just like Snowbird here. You're going to learn about what penguins like to do, what they like to eat, and all kinds of cool stuff. The News 4 Surprise Squad is hooking you guys up. We are going to load up the Christmas Roar store with the gifts in this cart right here. Does that sound real good? But wait, there's even more surprises for you guys this morning. I've got my main lady, Daphne DeLoren. She's the News 4 meteorologist. She's here to talk to you guys. Well, I have a forecast for you. And you know Snowbird behind me, he loves winter, right? Yeah. Well, he always has a fur coat on. So this winter, I think we all might need a coat, right? So we want to give all of you a coat. You get a coat. Everyone here gets a coat. The Channel 4 Surprise Squad thinks you deserve a very special gift today. Are you ready? going to let you open, but not yet. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Woo! On the count of three, here we go. One, two, three! For some students, this may be the only Christmas gifts that they may receive. And so for a child to go without a gift during the Christmas season, it really bothers us. And so the community has stepped up. With Wholesale, we just uh, really try hard to serve the community around us. And to give coats and books and toys to second graders is just an awesome opportunity, not just to affect the kids themselves, but also their families. Christmas is about loving people and sharing things with your family. Because these students have learned the gift of giving is the best gift of all. Seeing Christmas through the eyes of those children, just such a blessing. And that's how we'd like to end tonight. Here's wishing you much love and joy this holiday season. And we leave you with a behind the scenes look at the crew that helps make these surprises happen.